Welcome back to the vlog, everybody. We're on day three here of the five day challenge. We're getting kind of close. This is going to be a make or break day, and we're gonna start installing some of this trim on the bar and get that going. Hope you like that patio install. I thought that was really sweet. Hope you did too. So I'm gonna walk you through what we're doing with this trim today, also finishing up some details with the patio. So stay tuned. Make sure you hit subscribe. Let's go. So we're starting out today by trimming out this bar and you can see we have the decorators Kaya seven and a quarter boards and we're running these up on all sides of this bar. We don't have our framing inspection until tomorrow. So we're gonna wait on getting down deck boards. We might start maybe putting our starter piece in there, but most of that will wait till tomorrow. So these seven and a quarter boards are gonna go all the way up. They're gonna wrap around this corner. We're also gonna have that nice custom corner detail on this. And then we can start planning out these privacy screens which will be mounted on top. So I think we'll get those installed as well. Sure. We got Ant on the case today. Carpenter extraordinaire. This is gonna be no problem. Ant might have to slow down so we don't finish <laughs> too fast. We don't wanna finish in four days. It's gotta be five. Scooters on the pile over there. Cutting up boards. How you making out, Scoot? Pretty good. We gonna finish in five days? You know it. Oh yeah. Pat, we gonna finish in five days? Less than. Less than? Yeah. I'm saying uh, three days. No, it's, uh, that's today. Yeah, we're gonna finish. Okay, we're gonna finish maybe today. So we have these pre-assembled face frames here. Showed you on the video yesterday. We've got these with pocket screws attached here. So what I'm gonna do is install this to our frame. So I'm gonna lay this on top. And I'm gonna screw it from the backside so you don't see any screws on the front. We don't have to have any plugs, nothing like that. It's gonna be super clean. So I'm just lining this thing up right now. I've got a two and a half inch screw here. So I'm gonna come from the backside. Just gotta be careful not to sink it too much because we don't want it popping out the front. That'd be no good, right, Pat? No. Woo! Super Bowl champs, baby. And look at this. We're like the deck bowl champs. This is gonna be really sweet. On the inside here, this is where we're gonna put our LED strip lighting. So when they hang up on the deck, it's gonna glow in here and it's really gonna make these patterns look super cool. So by the end of the day, we'll have these up, we'll have them installed, hooked up, wired, all that kind of stuff. And uh, it's gonna be really sweet, guaranteed. All of our frames are ready to go. Look how sweet these things look. So these are gonna get hung on the deck. A Couple more pieces of trim to put on here. And then we'll have three on this front side, four on this side here. It's gonna be pretty freaking sweet. So we're starting to cut for our corner post detail here. This one's already cut and we'll show you how we do this. Got the old track saw. He's got it screwed on here to the wall. Now look at this, super easy. Perfect. What do you call that, Ant? Straight as eggs. I don't get that, but that's an old carpentry term, I guess. Show me shirt, bud. I work with a bunch of tools. <laughs> hey, hey, you watch that. Who are you talking about? This is a paintbrush. <laughs> I work with one tool, this guy. <laughs> hey, what's the matter, you? <laughs> Look at this guy, he's crazy. His hair's all over the place. You need a bath, bro. So we got all of our frames built there. They look pretty sweet. 
Now the real key here is gonna be this LED strip lighting. This is another thing that's in my Amazon store. Link will be in the bio. We're gonna get this installed on here. And this is what's gonna make it glow from the back. It's gonna be really cool, so. Comes on this little movie reel. Hey Pat, we're making a movie. All I'm gonna do, got this uh, adhesive backing. So, I'm just gonna start right here. This is our wire lead that we'll hook it up with. So that's where we'll connect it to our main landscape lighting wire. We're also gonna put staples on this just to hold it, lock it in for justice for life. But I'm actually pretty surprised. This stuff holds really well. All right, so we got our LED strip in there. Pat's gonna work behind me, put some staples in it. And uh, we're gonna get these up on the wall today, get them lit up. I'm pretty stoked. Hey, how you doing there, Pat and everybody else? Check these out. Whoa, pretty sweet. Okay, check back. Boop. Check these screens out, looking nice. Oh, hey, Pat, what are you doing? I'm gonna plug you. Don't make me say it. What are you doing? Don't make me say it. What are you doing? Just plugging away. <laughs> Classic. Everybody who watches these videos goes, oh, this mook, he's just putting plugs in a wall all day because he can't do nothing else. Every video, that's all you see me do. Paint with my little paintbrush or putting freaking plugs in the wall. <laughs> I do other things. I carry stuff. I drive the car. I get lunch. I'm very useful. Found it. We got everything being fastened from behind here. So you don't see any screws in the front. You don't see any screws in the front. And uh, no different with this. So we have our little lead wire for our LED lights. And uh, we're just going to lock it in for justice from behind. We good here? Hey, show them how flat this deck is. Flatter than the flat earth. Which is definitely flat. Oh! <laughs> We've got all this plane down. You saw how flat it was. Now Ant's applying some flashing tape over our flat blocking. Oh, look at that. He's even notching it around the post. This guy's too much. Mr. Ant, I don't take shortcuts Lombardo. Beautiful. Hey there, hot shot. So what I'm doing here is uh, we got all our panels installed. And uh, now we're hooking up the LED strip lighting. Pat, is this the first time that we've done this uh, panel? <laughs> oh, it is. We didn't hook it up and then uh, somebody accidentally put a staple through the LED strip light. And then we had to take it down. <laughs> Cause somebody didn't say nothing that they put a staple through the strip light and it didn't work <laughs> but hey let's not dwell on that we're back to business here got my lead wire i got my leds i really like these connectors you can get these on uh my amazon store link is down in the description i get a couple cents for each one you buy it's probably not worth it but you know I do like these things, so go check it out. All right, so we've got our... Uh, it's a little bit tougher with uh, these strip lights because there's not a long lead on it. And we're fishing it through here, so you got to have nimble fingers a little bit. But now it's locked in for justice. Got one side on there. All right, so got this all hooked up so you can see them on there right can you see them on let's go around the other side
Look how cool these things look. Nice and level. The real thing to see is what these things look like at night. So uh, I'm gonna try to get a night picture in this vlog today, but it's like four o'clock now. I gotta edit this video, I gotta wait for nightfall, I gotta get the shot, and then I gotta upload it. So I don't know if it's gonna be at the end of this video, but I really like how these things turned out. You can't see any screws on the outside of this because this was assembled with pocket screws and everything was assembled from the back of this. It looks freaking sweet and I think these LED strip lights are going to give an awesome effect with this pattern. Pat, what do you think? You're yawning. Why are you yawning? Pat? There you go. Okay. So, I'm really digging these. That's pretty much what I was getting. <laughs> Alright, so day three has come to an end. We got a good amount done today. We got a lot of our trim boards up. We got all of the bar trimmed out. We got these raised panels with the LED lighting installed. Did some final adjustments on the patio. We'll be ready for poly sand. It's still gonna be really tough to do this in five days. The biggest holdup, I think, is gonna be all the staining that we have to do. It rained earlier today, so we didn't get any staining done. Look at all that that we have to stain. And that's not even all of it. We still have all the rafters and the posts to do for the pergola. But I still have faith. Five days is still doable. Tomorrow we'll be back, we'll hit it hard. Day four is gonna be really important to see if we can finish this in five days. So make sure you hit sub sub subscribe, stay tuned, and until next time, this is Premier Outdoor Living.